I'm Cy Montgomery. I'm here in the New England Aquarium where we're right in front of the giant ocean tank, which today is featuring uh, four lovely bonnethead sharks, as well as hundreds of other species. And I write for adults and children all about animals. And I get to travel all over the world bringing these incredible stories. The first time I saw a great white shark in the open ocean. I was, of course, in a cage, a steel cage, so I knew I was perfectly safe, but I didn't know for sure whether I'd be frightened or not. When I first saw the animal coming towards me, I've got to tell you, I felt this immense sense of calm and tranquility. It was as if the ocean had gathered itself into the shape of a shark and was bringing itself to me. And there he is, this huge, majestic, strong fish who bears you no malice at all. And you see the eye shift in its socket to glance at you, but you don't feel any malice. You don't feel like this is someone who wants to bite you. They're just aware that you're there and then going about their business. Things look larger and closer than they really are, you get cold very quickly. Your body feels totally different in this buoyant environment, but what's fabulous about being in the ocean is that wild animals come extremely close to you. And if anything like this happened on land, you would just be freaking out. I mean, what if you were watching the wildebeest migration, there was a wildebeest right here, this close to you, and yet, you know, fish and other animals will go right past your face. And that's when you forget everything else. You forget, oh my gosh, I'm cold, or gee, this is difficult. Instead, your senses are just flooded with the excitement of being so close to one of these creatures. And that's something that being in the ocean brought me that I'd never really experienced before on land. I would love for people to know that most sharks never hurt a person at all. Most sharks in the world are only three feet long. And that even the great white shark that everyone fears so much, you are far more likely to be injured by your toilet, your toaster, or room fresheners than a great white shark. Because the great white shark doesn't want to bite you, does not want to eat you. They want to eat seals, not us. Writing these Scientists in the Field series books has been a blast. For my very first one, I got to work in a pit with 18,000 snakes, which was lovely. I got to handle a wild tarantula in French Guiana. I got to get up close and personal with a cheetah in Namibia. I got to walk in the tracks of snow leopards in the Gobi Desert in the Altai Mountains. There's a lot going on at, at one time, but I love that. And I, I love the challenge of doing something brand new. I've had a fantastic time doing this.